last time on Cyberpunk 2077. Everyone at Night City HQ is on edge. But everyone knows you only made it to where you are thanks to me. Give us the data you received from Jenkins. This will conclude termination procedures. Just lost control of my life. Completely. I'd say you got it back. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Maelstrom. Little birds say a certain Dex has taken an interest in him. Hey! Hey, you! I gotta get to a Ripper, man! I... Somebody forced you? Not just me. My brother, too. I'm especially grateful nobody was killed. Taro Shobo. Ring a bell? Well, me. me. One, One person, person two bodies. Two bodies. <laughs> Fuck you! Finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Hey, Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick for you, whatever the trick is. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! Chip's got a vector! They're breaking in! Think we'll do a favor, hombre. Jesus, slow down, maybe. I'll get you, but kinda caught me at a bad time. Next time, then, V. Corporate gods willing. Say I wanted to have a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. Mid up would be best. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Welcome on board this Delamain service. I'd like to check in. Of course. Just a moment, please. The name on the reservation is? Relic intact? Bio shard integrity, 100%. Fuck, too late. Your was about to walk in. Find cover. This is the only... He'd want to be with his family. Can't risk it, V. Remember our first convo? Seems I've chosen the quiet life after all. Bushido 2, Bomb's name was what? Wrap it up! We got a Delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Smasher. Told you, Johnny boy. Told you I'd end you someday. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. Who's the other? Johnny Silverhand, a terrorist. Real talk of the town back in my day. Fucking chip. There you go. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, forever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. And I've processed some shit. Changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. You knew each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Jackie saved my life. And then, years later in Night City, he saved it again. At a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then. It would not have happened without him. Hi everyone, welcome back to Cyberpunk. We're at Jig Jig Street. So, after meeting with Takimura and Oda last time, we're waiting on their response. We're still, we're about to go and have a look for Evelyn Parker. I'll we'll try and locate her. we we'll try and locate, um, I've forgotten his name, Lars? Was it Lars? Uh, Anders, Anders Hellman. I knew it was Scandinavian. <laughs> so, uh, I feel like 
in terms of main missions, I'm not going to do these now. I feel, I'm, I feel like what I'd like to do in terms of roleplay perspective, after, you know, going through that whole ordeal, um, meeting with Takimura to get like a an idea of the whole situation, going to Jackie's ofrenda, or, if, or funeral, or his wake, or whatever you want to call it, um, talking with Misty about everything, and then that final late night meeting with Takimura and Oda. I feel like we'd be pretty knackered. I feel like we'd be going back to our apartment here. And we've got a couple of missions back there. Uh, we've got a, one with Wilson and one with our neighbor who we said we'd check in on. So I'd actually like to go and do that next. So those are the quests we're going to move on to. And then in terms of choosing between Ghost Town and Automatic Love, I feel like we would maybe stay away from the afterlife for a little bit. I know it's been a little bit since the since the heist, a few weeks, but because Dexter was well known there, he's a fixer, I feel like we maybe need to just get some momentum going, doing other stuff. So in terms of main quests, we will go and meet with Judy. Um, and I, I, honestly, I feel like finding Evelyn feels like a more, at this point, would feels like a more tangible, achievable aim. Just because we've seen her, we've we have no, we don't know Anders Hellman. We've never met him. You know, he used to work for Arasaka. Now he's defected to another rival company. Uh, I don't think we got told which company it was. So that feels very ambitious, right? Kind of like the stuff with Takimura as well. So this feels a bit more ground level. We've met Judy before. We've got a degree of trust trust is the wrong word because we've met her once right but a somewhat a, a, a slight rapport with her i guess at this point so yeah that is the plan um, my bike i don't know where it is but it is on the way all right so um i've been enjoying checking out the different radio stations so i've been listening to pacific dreams quite a bit we listened to a bit of the dirge a bit of body heat and i think it was i can't remember whether it was peb peb uh, peb Kak or sam is that so we need to listen to something else so i think we listened to a bit of vexel storm actually it's night time royal blue maybe a bit of jazz no let's go night fm let's go night fm Let's hit the first person. Because it's scary. The shining streets, baby. Really gotta utilize the handbrake. Like, oh my god, look at the lighting! Wow. That was mental. <laughs> that was quality, dude. That was absolute quality. up in the carriage. Gotta be honest man, I think that I think that V my V looks quite nice with the uh, with the old buzz cut. Although I do feel like we should change it, but it's not been long enough. I think we, we I think we could maybe dye it a, uh, a color, a different color. You know, like the kind of short hair, but still dyed kind of look. A bit, bit of M and M, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll try it out. I'll uh, I'll dye it and see see what looks right. Watson Hall, new episodes Wednesday hit ten.
gross. I'm really liking our outfit though. This jacket kind of brings it all together, I think. But yeah, it's pretty late, I think. I think we can put everything in that we've just been through in the scope of one day, right? Waking up, meeting Goro. Goro. Speaking to Mama Wells, going to the funeral, going to Wakako, meeting Takimura and Oda, going back to Jijig Street. It's been a long day, right? Don't make trouble. Be in trouble. There's smoke. There's fire. Now. Where I am in the gate, where I am at the minute, um, patch 1.52 released yesterday. So I have taken the decision that I'm not going to update my game at all for the rest of the playthrough unless I have to, unless there's like a bug like really affecting us. Um, is that a taro? Oh, right. Oh, we didn't read that other one, actually, did we? Okay, so that's the chariot. We've read that one, and this was the world. We read that. The one that we got by the meeting with Odar was the Hierophant. And the artwork for these is awesome. I like how they mix up the artworks for stuff like this in the menu. The Hierophant symbolizes a respect for tradition. Yeah, they're definitely to do with the story elements then, because this has to be to do with Takimura and Oda. The Hierophant symbolizes a respect for tradition. It represents one who tries to maintain the established order, even though their very character is shaped by it. The Hierophant places his faith in institutions, for the alternative is pure chaos. Only by placing his faith in order can he draw strength. So maybe that's Oda, because Takimura is removing his faith in the institution. Interesting. Now this is the very first one, so this must be about us. The Fool. <laughs> the Fool is everyone, including you and me. Each step he takes on his journey feels like stepping into a brave new world. Ultimately, the journey will change him, but as the card shows, he's a trustworthy lad whose tireless hope drives him towards his goal. <laughs> yeah, you gotta step off the edge, mate. Sorry. Right, let's um, deposit a few things. Because we're just we're carrying way too much shit, right? So uh, I'm just going to store this carnage because we might end up using it. I do want a revolver. Yeah, I'll store. I'll store. I'm going to store the tech weapons for now, just because we don't have the skills really to use them and then. Yeah, I just don't think it's... When did I pick this up? And we can sell that. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, this was our Tiger Claws jacket, which I do quite like, so we'll store that in there. I'm going to store all the sunglasses for the time being. Um, We've got, quite, we've got some duplicate shoes, but I'll just store this stuff for now. This, uh, that's pretty sleek though, that corporate dress. I don't think I've tried, tried that on, but we will at some point. Um, stuff I don't want to sell, but I'm not really into wearing at the minute. I just bought, I, I wasted like a thousand eddies on them. Uh, that's what we're wearing. Okay, that has a mod on it, so we'll maybe pinch that. I think we're wearing them, right? Yeah. Um... I think it's more the weapons that carry most of the weight. Yeah, the shotgun in particular is massively heavy. I need to use one of these. Alright, we've we reduced our weight a little bit. Right, and let's uh, mess around with our hair. Come on, I'm a bald guy, I've got to have this luxury. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use a long hairstyle at any point, because we could just say it's a wig, right? Okay, so I just want to... I'm going to keep the, the buzzed hair just, just for roleplay sake at the minute. 
I just want to maybe stick a little bit of a die on it. So if we did blonde, looks all right. A lighter blonde. I think that might be quite cool. Now, if we try a color, I don't know if it's going to look too cartoony. Okay, so it's still got a bit of a fade. Okay, that's all right. Now, if we try a lighter color, like this pink one here. Okay, that, I don't know, that's kind of cool, right? Is that just me? Because I feel like if we pick a bright colour, it's going to look too bright. Do you know what I mean? It's going to look like a Mass Effect Andromeda hairstyle. <laughs> I'm not throwing shade. Um, I enjoyed Andromeda, but just, you know, the hair colours were, were an issue. Yeah, I feel like if we do like that, I think that looks too harsh. You know what I mean? Whereas I feel like that... Kind of blends in with our skin tone and actually kind of looks pretty cool. Hmm, I'm not sure about that one. This pink. Yeah. See, like that, that's just too bright, isn't it? That's too bright. I'm going to go for this. I think that looks pretty sick, to be honest. Might be an idea to change our eyes, but... Um, I don't know whether after that whole ordeal you'd want to change to like a complete like a blackout eye. Just because we feel a bit soulless at the minute. <laughs> you know? Or maybe I can pick something that isn't like bright red. But, uh, something a bit like whiter, maybe. I, I, I maybe I have to would maybe have to uh, install another set of uh, skins for this. To be honest, I don't want blue because we we desperately don't want blue. All of these have a blue tint. This is a disaster map. That's what we had. Um, I was kind of thinking like Oda, Oda's eyes. They were like really white. Cannot make my mind up. You know what, I think I'm going to go for an all black for, for the time being. I just think we look, oh, we look uh, kind of cool. We look ridiculous now, maybe, I don't know. I'll see, I'll have a look in the menu and see how I feel. No, I think that looks all right, man. The hair to cheer us up and the, the black eyes to scare people away from us. <laughs> all right, let's go and check on our neighbor. Is it uh, Fred, I think, or something? Oh, no, no, Fred's the boxing guy. This is Barry. I like how it's less populated here because it's like 2 a.m. Barry? Hey Barry? Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as yes. <sighs> Try again later. I'm gonna hack the door open. The game seemed a little loud. Did you know? Last gen cyber work damage your nervous system. 
Sorry if the sound was a bit weird on the last two or three episodes. The uh, the Dolby Atmos turned off for some reason. Um, I have no idea why. Okay, I don't know why Barry's not responding yet. Maybe we just need to wait, wait for a bit longer. And there's the gimp again. Sergey. For God's sake, Sergey. Alright. Alright, so it's all done up because he's having a sale. That's awesome. <laughs> He wants us to take part in a shooting range, right? Uh, hey, Pete. About to start. You, uh, you gotta take a piss or something? Uh, Pro now's probably. Alright, let's go. Thanks for your concern. Let's start this rodeo. <laughs> Can't just yet. Not till you get in the range. Go on, set up, chop chop. What gun do I use? Nice. Listen to Wilson's instructions. Is this our boot? Alrighty, how many we got? Just six? God damn. <laughs> well, no point crying about it. <clears throat> Rules are simple, right? There's the target, shoot it. Don't matter which one, go on and shoot your neighbors. Most hits wins. Uh, meaning hits on the target, not your neighbor. Oh, right, uh, small caliber iron only. Don't go showing off with your fucking assault bangers or no rocket pukers, got me? First prize is a pistol, but uh, a, a real nice one. It's fucking nice, I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, enough words. Get warmed up. <laughs> Ready? Is this me? Three. Two! Hey, hey! The hell is that? The hell are you doing with that double barrel? It's a small <laughs> caliber only! Uh, forgot my iron. Must be in my other jacket. That's why you keep your gun in a holster. A holster! You Get gone. the fuck out of my sight now! Fuck, Chum. Chill. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> Pearls before swine, for fuck's sake. That's hilarious. All right. Three. Okay, okay. Two. One. I think I won. First place, V! No, what? Second, Rudy! <laughs> I was rigged. The rest of you Bush League punks, learn to shoot! Out of my sight, now! No way. Thank you. Thanks, Wilson. Ah, sure is pretty. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's the matter? Hey, are you okay? Something wrong? <sighs> Ain't a damn thing that's right. Contest didn't do shit. Didn't sell a goddamn thing. Nothing. Should try not calling potential buyers Bush League. Yeah, maybe, but... Fuck! Good something you gotta respect. If you don't know how to shoot, don't do it! True. <sighs> <sighs> Take care, V. See you around. 
All right. Cheers, Wilson. I like this guy. He's got like a note of anger in everything he does, and I can relate to that. <laughs> right. Okay, uh, legendary Lexington. Nice. Can we practice a little bit? Okay, so this is similar to the Dying Knight, right? Okay. I'll stick with that for a bit. Slotomatic. We can actually buy one of these. No way. Budget arms, man. Um, he said he was having a sale, right? Oh, nice. We leveled up. Who do I spy? A happy new gun owner, I hope. Okay, so I'm gonna... Am I gonna sell anything? Oh, we just picked that up, right? It's pretty... Uh, got a nice value on it. Yeah, sure. Oh, I should go and just try that out in the gun range, right? A guillotine. Oh, this is DLC, isn't it? I think I saw this in the DLC menu. Power submachine gun. Bullets ricochet off surfaces. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is it in a different colorway. Thermal damage or electrical damage. Maybe we take electrical damage because that might affect cyberware. How much money have I got? Nine, nine grand. It looks pretty cool, so I'm down. Wait, 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 what's oh that's a Necromata, we can craft these. I'll craft I I need to craft one of them. Legendary Unity. Okay. Has he got a crafting spec for this? Because that might be a better thing a better thing to buy. Oh what's that? Quasar. That's interesting. I would really like a smart gun at some point. We've already got um, Fenrir for thermal damage, so. so let's try it out. We can sell this Nowaki. Too heavy. Right, so I wanted I want to try this one out, and I want to try out this Tamayura. Oh, seriously! Who let me into the shooting range? All right. Oh, that is sick. Just the scope. It's got the uh, ammo count on it as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't need you, though. Um... Alright, let's level up. I need to put some actual points into <laughs> hacking stuff. Uh... Quick hack, oh, quick hack duration. That's good. Especially because, yeah, for um, reboot optics. Now, how do we get them to spread? Because that says it just increases the distance, but. Hmm. I think we take this quick, we start on quick hack duration here. That, for reboot optics, that'll be really, really good. Okay, I didn't, I didn't get the second level of big sleep. Mass vulnerability will be good at some point as well. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pump a bunch of points into intelligence. Maybe get it to 
15 or something. Right, what was I going to do next? Judy is what we were going to do next. That sounded a bit perverted. Dude, can you leave me alone for a bit? Wakako, do you not think she'll betray us? Wait, she doesn't charm you anymore? Yeah. Why? You only have to look at her. A venomous spider wearing the mask of a nice old lady, but I will not be fooled. If it were not her disdain for Arasaka, she would have sold us out for a handful of pachinko balls. But since she hasn't, that means she is something even more dangerous, an opportunist. Maybe she simply wants to spear two rats with one stick and is waiting for the right moment. V, I'm in Kabuki. I have two questions. How could anyone call this filthy slum Kabuki? Kabuki is a form of art. I will let you know sh uh, shortly. Well, I'll help you if you want. I may take you up on that offer, but for now, I'll manage alone. Your time will come. <laughs> Fuck you. He's so hilariously serious. Hey, wait, don't go. Alright, let's go meet with Judy. We'll go out via the garage. Was there any reason for me to go out through the front door? Get some trousers, dude. There will be no fast travel. What the hell was that gong? What are these gongs doing? Ooh, acid rain. Oh, look at this. See, look how much different it looks. I wish we would have been outside when it transitioned, but. Right, um, and I think I got, I did, I think I might have gotten some messages during the last mission I didn't respond to. I swear someone sent me a message. Okay, yeah, there you go. Oh, a car. Oh, V, in your line of work, one, one must be quick and punctual. Since you seem to struggle with both, I figured you could use a motorcycle. You can have only one, let it be the best. The Yaiba Kusanagi. This is the, um... Uh, Akira bike, right? That the, they had a, they had like a, a replica one made at one of the promotion events, promotional events, like at E3 or some, something, before the game came out, right? And it, I think it was this bike. Um, I happen to have one for sale. Buy it and you won't regret it. Yeah, but... All of these cars are very expensive. Although they are kind of realistic prices. 58 grand. The Mai Mai is 22 for fuck's sake. Oh, we're going to have to get the Galena. <laughs> we're a bit light on cash at the minute. We're going to have to do a load of gigs. But uh, we're going to go talk to Judy first. So... And we've got a bike already at this moment in time. Okay, the hair looks a little weird in the light, but... Tarot card here. Uh, what's the button for the scanner on controller? There we go. Uh, the sun. It's one near the end. This. The sun symbolizes success. It's a card of freedom, renewal, and a bright future that lies ahead. The sun also represents truth. 
for its light will always pull back the curtain of shadow that hides the world's secrets. It also represents greatness and splendor. Yeah, giver of life, right? Exposes things in the darkness, yeah. I can see that. I'm sorry. Don't tell the council. intended. Alright. Right, let's hit a quick save here. Hey! Haven't I seen you here before? Got a good memory for faces. I look a little different. Here at the for minute. a good time. You seen Evelyn? Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know where I might find her? Used to come round. Haven't seen her in a while though. Judy? Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Thanks. You have a name? I don't think she had a name. Scare away any customers and you're out. My, what a sweet little face you have. All right. I can't even talk to her. She's giving me, showering me with compliments. <laughs> Feast your eyes on this. Huh? Tell me, baby, do I look as fine as I feel right now? Come on now. Don't be such a wet rag. Judy's friend. Oh, I interrupted that conversation. Yeah, do one. You done with that bug, will you? Yep. I can bump and grind. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be our rep. Girls need help, they come here. Last time I checked, we weren't running a shelter. Come on, they all deserve a chance. Anyone could end up useful. Give it some time, they'll pay for themselves. Pay? Chicks can barely take care of themselves. Not when they're face down in the mud. But who knows? Could surprise you. I hate surprises. Mm-hmm. Really feeling that sense of community right now. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, oh, we right. fucking are. Susie Q, she's the leader of the mocks. You just don't give up, do you? No. Nope. Nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I just too subtle for you? I mean... I think that her and Evelyn are close get friends, it so she's probably just trying to protect her by not saying anything. What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. 
Oh, Susie P, right? Susie seems to know what she wants. Is she your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Evelyn? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist? No. Alright, we've got a cool option, so I just need to know who hired her. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. Alright. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Right. Seed case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. I sell clouds. I guess that's like a, a, bro a brothel or something. Mega tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Alright, thanks for the help. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Yeah, she's worried. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. I, mean, I guess most of the marks are kind of used to looking out for themselves in a lot of ways, right? Not trusting anyone. It's like a server room. See if there's anything back here. These look like they should have things in. Yes! Oh, nice! Some pants. Or trousers, as they should be called. That didn't show up on the scanner, did it? What the hell's in here? Ah, like a hidden room. A room for private biz. Oh, what's this? Not the milkshake. Lizzie. That's an iconic gun. Fires an extra round per shot, increases the number of rounds fired per shot when fully charged. Oh, it's a tech pistol, man. Finding tons of little pistols. Confessions of a brain dance addict. Preface. Do you want to be you? Seriously, take a moment to let that question sink in. Do you feel at home in your skin? Do you like your job, your friends, your family? When you look in the mirror, do you say to yourself, I'm the luckiest person alive? Then hop into the leather upholstered back seat of your chauffeured Rayfield. If you answered yes to any of these questions, put down this book and stop wasting your valuable time. If you answered no to any to the above, I understand just how you feel. It used to be said at the turn of the century that the world belongs to the 1%. Today, one thousandth of a percent is closer to the truth, and your chances of joining this group are even less than that. In this reality, I, I mean, where you are you. In a brain dance, you can be anyone. A broker who manages a portfolio worth trillions. An elite soldier who blasts his enemies out of existence with a tech shotgun. A suave rocker boy with whom the whole world lusts after. Now I ask you again. Of the millions upon millions of people in this world, do you want to be you? The answer for me was always no. And so my story begins. Sergio Morales. Yeah, fair enough, man. I mean, yeah, it's a, it can be a fine line sometimes with escapism and stuff, right? Same thing goes for video games in some ways. Okay, let's just have a quick look at this pistol. I don't, I, these tech pistols, I, I find them really hard to utilize properly because the charge, because there's, there is a skill, isn't there, that means uh, it shoots when we say so. Yeah, so that's the charge. Yeah, don't shoot, or, that's what we need, but I don't know if I'm ever going to get technical ability to level 14, so... We'll have to see. But the thing is, I am going to need to be decent in some form of combat. Hello. A doll. Why am I not surprised? 
You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Let's do it. Where did uh, Susie Q go? Cool to talk to her, right? Think I just woke up one day looking like this? This is real life, not no fairy tale. I'm a woman. That demands sacrifice. It's hard work, never easy. You don't say. See? I've always been a woman. Oh, so this is what fucking sororal solidarity looks like now. Locker room digs. Welcome to real life, sister. Your words, not mine. Is this a quick way out? I don't think we could go this way last time. Yes, yes, I think this is her. Susanna Quinn. She is wanted. What the hell are you doing here? First stage here, all there. Got something to say? Yeah, I just, say stole, I just stole all your money, so. Starting to think you're a real pain in the ass. Oh, right. I think that that's reflexes. How's biz? Guessing the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses at sheer cost, too. Why? Looking to invest? No, just admiring your operation. We took over this place way back when. Every day I wake up and wonder how it's still standing. We get by. That's all I'll say. You know anything about Evelyn? You know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. Might know something more. Evelyn jumped the mock ship a long time ago. Right, okay. And anyone not a mox is not my damn problem. Heard you give the working girls a helping hand. In a city tingling with desire. That's ancient history. And like all history, it was pretty damn bloody. What was it? Something about a riot? Joy girl murdered by a tiger claw? Mm -hmm. Not the first, just the one that tipped the scales. Folk went ballistic. Streets overflowed with raised fists. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. But that's old news. We're running a business now, not a charity. Can't help everyone in this city. Gotta take care of our own. Moxes come first. Alright, fair enough. Oh, hang on, I want that thing behind you. Ah! No! Alright, Susie. Now we'll have to come back when we've got more. I think that that's reflexes. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Virtues? Is that... Those are like... The brain dances she makes, right? Come on, time's up. Yeah, not bad, yeah. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Right. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. That's the pollution, the acid rain. They call me Mr. Hands. All right. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's B. And what? No pleased to meet you? Hmm. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. All right, radio voice guy. Oh God. Right, where are we going? God, we're going back. Is this on Jig Jig Street again? Maybe. I think we just got a, a message. From Mr. Hans. You call me, it's to talk biz, I don't do chit chat. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. 
Oh, it's in a mega building. Steady. So Clouds is in a, an apartment. Start turning then. <laughs> yeah, you really wouldn't want to be on a bike in this uh, weather. I'm not sure if we can summon our car anymore. I don't know. Here it is. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, I missed the message. I wanted to park first. I still don't know whether we did right by revealing ourselves to Okada-san. Trust is like a sake that should be drunk, chilled, and in moderation. Okay, yep, yeah, I'll keep it in mind. City. Where is the division between man and machine? To find the answer. Oh, there's tigers everywhere. A veteran guard. There's someone important here. Right, well, we've got tiger claws around. Not good. I say, Brendan, what's the difference between a broken bone and a broken heart? System error. I repeat, system error. Ah, damn it to hell. What the hell's going on over here? Something to fix up. Okay, let's try this one more time. Just trying to fix it, right? I don't feel so good. What would you recommend? Poor Jerry. Did Maggie ask you to sleep on the couch again? Yeah, that's going in the troubleshoot log. <laughs> okay. A sympathetic vending machine, I guess. Oh man, there's uh, tigers everywhere. A discount yesterday. Half price on everything. And I sold twice more stock than usual. So, you broke even? Yes. What the hell? This is a the glitch work trash. I would have thrown them away. That was fucking rhetorical. The stands Tiger Claws property. And your Tiger Claws property. You had one job. Sell the stock, take the eddies, and do nothing gunk. Is that so hard? Is that clear? Run your fucking discounts when you get your own fucking stand. Which will be never. Not there. What's the thing? More tigers. These are kind of basic ones. That veteran guard was definitely different. Let's listen in here. Okay, 
nothing else. Oh, clothing man. What's up? Okay, these are kind of the same things as usual. Nothing new. What am I wearing again? Okay, hang on. Uh, we could go for this pink one again. 14! Jesus Christ! Whoa, what? You need to sort your prices out, lady. It's insane. Easy level. Let me play it. You can watch. Come on. What's the matter? What's going on? It's nothing. Okay. Except nothing I can do if you don't tell me. <laughs> Guess that's that. Oh, man. You're screwing with my head. There's that tone. Yelling comes easy. Taking me out somewhere? That fucking board is on the impossible. I am not yelling. Said yourself, we got everything here. Tunes, stores, eateries. And that's all you ever dreamed of. Okay. Good to know. Wow. Wow. Never happy. Way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. Maybe. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. Yeah. They must control the building. Yeah, you're in a great mood. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half brain dead chick drags me around a cat house on a mile of orchards. So having a grand old time. Arisaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over, cheeks spread wide. So, what isn't it you don't get about Judy? You think Judy's lying? Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Target! <laughs> Follow your instincts! Alright. That's so creepy, isn't it? He just disappears. Yeah, it is like a reg. It is just like our apartment block, isn't it? But there is a business in here. Yeah, I guess it's no different than Wilson's gun shop being in there, right? Alright guys, I think I'm just going to have to end the episode there, sorry, I know we're, we're just about to embark on this mission, but we've done a bunch of other stuff, we spoke to Wilson, went back to our apartment, went back to Lizzie, spoke to Judy, spoke to Susie Q, uh, we've made our way over here, um, gotten Johnny's input on the situation, uh, yeah, we've now got pink hair, it's, you know, it's great. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave me a like if you did, and just remember everyone, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.